डॉक्टर आशी ठाकुर ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन छपरा बिहार टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय इनोवेटिव वर्क नेम डॉक्टर ठाकुर इनोवेटिव टेक्निक ऑफ सुपरा पैटलर नेली ऑफ टीवीआर टीवीआर फ्रैक्चर्स आर मोस्ट कॉमन अमंग द लॉ बोन फ्रैक्चर्स इन ह्यूमन बॉडी these are usually caused by high energy trauma like a fall from height study shows that the tapur innovative technique of supra patellar nailing of tibia is safe cost effective method of treatment for metaphyseal tibial fractures intramedullary nailing technique is the treatment of choice for diaphyseal fracture of tibia in adults in treatment of metaphyseal tibial fractures concerns regarding difficulties with reduction due to anterior deformity becomes a challenge supra patellar nailing becoming popular choice for treating metaphyseal fractures it is highly specialized surgery and requires very highly specialized instruments sets and implants that tends to be very costly the pratapo innovative technique of supra patellar nailing of tibia delivers 100% satisfactory union of fracture in safe and cost effective way no special instrument or jig are required a protective slip and a dropper can be used from pfn a to z and color coded infra patellar tibial nail extractor can be used to introduce the nail in proper position uh, between march 2020 to march 2021 dr tagore innovative technique of supra patellar nailing of tibia conducted on 25 patients to fix their tibial fractures the patients having tibial fractures with no involvement of Articular surface we are included in this study. Age of the patient ranged between 18 to 60 years, and they had no comorbidities. All surgery were performed after an average of 5.5 days. The range being 3 to 12 days after accident. 2.5 millimeter K wire used as a blocking wire to improve. nailing of proximal tibial fractures the tibial fractures of all the patient was fixed by the pratapo innovative technique of supra patellar nailing of tibia this is the flow diagram how the pratapo innovative technique of supra patellar nailing of tibia done it is done in semi extended position about 20 degree of x x flexion at the knee joint either transverse or longitudinal skin incision we are given but longitudinal split of quadricep tendon the uh, knee joint injured from above proper and protective sleeve from pfn a to z inserted in the point it just medial to the lateral tibial spine guide wire first malleable guide wire we are introduced after severe bleeding fracture reduction and confirmed by fluoroscopy mounting of the nail with appropriate size over the color coded tibial nail extractor done introduction of appropriate nail size over the right wire done in proper position with the help of color coded uh, tibial nail extractor locking both proximal and distal done by free hand technique no jig we have used wash and the pair of quadricep tendon done and closure done these are the pictures how we do we did uh, our cases by dr thakur innovative technique these are the instruments the color coded tibial nail extractor protective slip from pfn a to z 
broker and malleable guidewire and stout and hard guidewire. Ribbon is at the passage of slip, broker and hard guidewire in the retro pattern space in AP and Lantern view. Passage of ribbon over the guidewire after percutaneous reduction with the reduction forceps in AP view and this is in lateral view. Nail entry over the guidewire and nail entry in distal fragmenting AP view. Nail entry in distal fragmenting lateral view and the both blocking a screw introduced in proximal fragment. In AP and lateral view all the three screws introduced in distal fragment by free hand technique. This is the Lincoln picture, proximal locking done by free hand technique. Post operative follow up steps, first post operative day, passive flexion and extension of the knee and ankle joint done. Third post operative day, active flexion and extension at the knee joint and ankle joint done. Then post operative day, patient is started with, I started walking with the help of walker non weight bearing. Six to eight weeks post op, we started partial weight bearing. Twelve weeks after operation, we started full weight bearing. Now, the final observation operative time was in this study 80 plus minus 10 minutes. Range was 65 to 110 minutes. Average fluoroscopy during surgery was 38.5 plus minus 6.5 seconds. The range being 10 to 50 seconds. The average time of union fracture was 8 weeks after surgery. With fracture in time was 12 weeks. Average hospital stay was 10 to 12 days. All patients followed up after 2, 3, 6 and 12 weeks. Those who could not return for follow-up, telephonic follow-ups were done and called for follow-up in hospital. No complication were observed. No patient experienced any loosening or breakage of a screw or nail. No one complaint of knee pain. No reduction of loss, reduction loss or significant displacement of fracture occurred after surgery. At final follow-up, 21 cases found excellent and four good results. In none of the patient, removal of nail was done for any cause. These are the results. Fracture, lower third tibia, APL lateral view, post-op x-ray of lower third tibia, APL lateral view. Fractures, lower third tibia, again, second case, APL lateral view, post-op x-ray picture, APL lateral view. This is third case of fracture of upper third tibial fractures, APL lateral view post up and this is the clinical pictures three weeks follow up. Okay. Fourth case pre op x-ray upper metaphysial fracture of tibia and this is the post up x-ray of upper third fracture of metaphysial tibia. This is fifth case the lower third very very low fracture of tibia and this is the post of APL letter view. This is a clinical picture three weeks after the surgery. In the case of this surgery, the number of cases included in this study was small. The study was not comparative with the standard technique. The status of cartilage over the patella and trochlea post surgery had not been evaluated. Thus, furthermore study with larger population and long follow-up time is required to compare this innovative technique. 
with a standard technique of suprapatellar nail. In this technique, fluoroscopy time was slightly more than the standard technique because both distal and proximal locking were done by freehand technique. Finally, friends, this innovative technique is very very cost effective. In fact, no cost is incurred for this suprapatellar technique. Whereas the standard instrument cells are very very costly. This technique can be adopted in a smaller and medium class orthopedic hospital. If the only disadvantage of this technique is the slightly more radiation occurs because the locking both proximal and distal are done with free hand technique. But this can be lessened by gaining more and more experience in free hand technique for locking proximal and distant TV. Thank you.